Hello. From the Queens. So, as Mum just said, Queens, mm. you may guess that this is a QA all about pageantry. pageantry. Oh, I thought you were going to say pageant, but yeah. we both put the tree at the end. Ah, uh, so. Yeah. Misha, Misha said lots of girls who have not done it before asking lots and lots of questions, so we thought just about time to answer those questions. Exactly. So, like, pa like we're a weird, well, we like to think weird in a good way, yeah. but we're an extra mother and daughter team anyway, <laughs> and then we also compete in pageants, so we couldn't really be any more extra if we tried, and everyone always asks about it, <laughs> so I thought I've done a few pageant videos in the past, which I will link down below, but we've never actually got mum involved. And I mean, everything's better than Mama Grimes. Oh. So, you know, mm. I love you. Thanks. Um, I'm currently wearing a Yeti because yep. it's snowing outside, mm -hmm. it's freezing. I've got 70 pairs of socks on. <laughs> Mum's got bright orange Crocs and should I show the Crocs as oh, well? Oh, Crocs, Ma oh no, they don't fail. <laughs> Mum wears Crocs because she's sexy like that. Uh -huh. um, so and yeah, my top is from... Mum's jumper is from Misguided. Yep. And my, this little grey is from Topshop. And actually this little jacket is from Topshop as yeah, well. Yeah, years ago, unfortunately. Oh my gosh, genuinely, I had this when I was in year 11. Mm. I would now be at uni if I went to uni, so that was like three or four years ago. Okay, so don't bother to look for it. Yeah, there's probably yeah. alternatives out there. And, and by the way, I'm allergic. And she's yeah, wearing it, and I'm sitting on top of as her. As so, we're so I could see little specks of... Let's pretend it's snow, Mum. Yeah, it's snowing inside. So if I start sneezing, yeah, I'm really you'll know why. So yes, I asked on Instagram any questions that you guys had, and then it's fair to say... There was Quite a, a few. lot of questions. So I thought, we're not going to get through all of them, but what I will do is write them all down and put them in a little pot. So, to explain the whole little pot and pulling out thing will be idea, when me and mum recently judged at Miss Teen Great Britain, but actually, you know, we judged the junior teen Great Britain, Holly Louise at Pageant Girl UK has introduced a little new exciting part to the interview. So, young lady, old lady, middle-aged lady, mm -hmm. any lady, mm -hmm. walks in, picks out a question, and that is their first question. So we're basically going to do that yep. in this Q&A. So Holly, I stole your idea. I'm yep. very sorry. I hope you don't mind. Mm -hmm. You can pick first. You don't generally need to close your eyes. I like to. One okay, then. so she can put out a question and I can give her that yep. question. So in case you actually have never heard of a pageant, I mean, you've been living under a rock. <laughs> yeah. But, oh, you haven't subscribed to Misha's. Yeah, exactly, you haven't you? Been subscribed. But basically, pageants are competitions mm -hmm. where young ladies, middle-aged ladies, old ladies, ladies, and everything in between come together and they compete for a title mm -hmm. or a crown in this instance. I like to think it's kind of like sports. It is. And so, I think some people will be like, what are you on about? Pageantry isn't a sport. Trust me, it pageantry is a sport. sport. And Holly Louise, who is the director of me, and the director of Pageant Girl, which are some of the best ever pageants in the UK. Check out the website, yeah, exactly. pageantgirl.co.uk. I will link literally everything, everything down, down below. below. So if you have any anything that you need to know, like it will be down there. <laughs> I'll put their Instagram, I'll put their Twitter, I'll put their website. And if you're confused about ages, that will all be explained down there as well. Holly mm. has pageants going from, I think it's like 11, 11 yeah. to literally hundreds as old as you want to be. Yeah. So as long as you're female, yeah. you got and, this. And just to say, males compete as well, but just not in this particular yeah. uh, system. Oh, maybe or link some men's pageants down there yeah. as well, because you never know who's going to be watching this video. Papa Grimes, switch the off now. <laughs> You're not competing. I think three family members doing pageants. I think pageants that's too much. Maybe be a tad too much. Yeah. I think two is enough. Yes, I think so. But three oh, is a crowd. Yeah, mm. literally, literally. Too many kick, cook, cook, cook spoil, spoil the broth. broth. <laughs> so, yes. Back to the question. Kasha Grimes, does it not scare you to compete? Scares their lights out of me. <laughs> anyway, for the very first time, I competed at the grand old age of 53 when Misha, for about three years, begged oh, me sorry. day in, 
Plinking Sorry, fluff. I'm literally fucking Day in around. and day out for me to do it. So you can imagine, at the age of 53, I had a bikini round, and you know, I was. Are you say bikini? You mean swimwear? Sw swimwear. 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 I will include image on yeah, the screen. Yeah, what a good idea. And I was very blue, and I was very classy. Do you I mean blue as in you were cold, or blue yeah, as no, in your was, swimwear? My was swimwear blue. was a kind of very royal. Royal, yeah. Uh, yeah. And you know, that was the part of the competition that I enjoyed most because that was me. I've worked so hard. I felt at ease because I didn't have any ruffles and any dresses to think about. That's very true. I just Nothing had my to trip on. Yeah, I just had my blue wings. As the picture shows. She's basically a Victoria's Secret angel. <laughs> yeah. Yes, there is a degree of nervousness, but it's more excitement rather than, oh, I'm petrified. And the interview is just my favourite part because this is where you really can show your personality. But be yourself. There is nothing to be scared of. Absolutely nothing I, whatsoever. Yeah, I can understand why yeah. there's a lot of fright behind yeah. pageantry because obviously it's not something that you do every day no. like it's not it's not yeah. normal but but we've seen girls that have been competing over the years who the first time they came on the stage they were a little bit reserved but as the years have gone on so they've true. grown in confidence and they've changed me included oh incredible i think one thing that scares people with pageantry is the thought not even of necessarily going out on stage tripping there is that. <laughs> and Misha did it! Let's include video footage of Misha falling on stage! Yes. Ready? Stay! <laughs> So that happened. And she won. I won that round and I won the night. Exactly. So it's not Does it about matter? a mistake. It's about your recovery. That's all what it is matters. It? It's not about the fall. fall. It's about the rise, quite literally, yeah, because literally. I did rise. Because yeah. I fell. So girls, if you want to do it, just go do it. for it. Do, do it. it. Do it. Do it. I don't know why we're punching. <laughs> well, oh, I just hit my elbow. That this really hurt. Fair. Right. On to the next one. I'm gonna pick a question for Misha now. Did Misha get this any trouble in school from competing and how did she deal with it? This kind of interlinks mm -hmm. with the scared question. Yep. I think a lot of people wouldn't compete in pageants because they're worried about what your opinions would mm -hmm. be. And I I was always that child that didn't really care, which I'm very lucky that mm. I've always been that way. But I do remember when I first did it when I was 13, yeah. I don't think I actually told anyone. Yeah. At, then it was just my little secret. It was my little bit of well, fun. Yeah. Like, I didn't want to necessarily tell anyone because I wasn't ready to. Yeah, but you to. didn't hide it either. No, I didn't hide it. I just didn't advertise it. Mm -hmm. Social media wasn't uh, as such a way in that day. This was five years ago now. I didn't have an Instagram page. No. I didn't have Facebook, Facebook really. Yeah. So I wasn't there advertising it to the world. And of course I told my close friends, yeah. but it wasn't something that I put all over social media and like portrayed to everyone. So I don't think I actually did get that much of a backlash. No, you didn't. I think there if were like, some there whispers was some, behind like, her back, Oh, she's a little pageant girl. But that's because people yeah. didn't understand what pageantry was yeah. really like. Mm -hmm. And I, I think nowadays, I've actually been so grateful and surprised about the positivity yeah. that I see about pageants online. And yeah. especially on my YouTube channel. Yeah. I never thought I would be able to come on YouTube and talk about pageants so yeah. openly. And people actually accept it. Yeah. I think we are now in an age where yeah. there are so many more things that are new and exciting. And there's so many people that are doing different things. Yeah. That it's become a lot more acceptable to do something okay. outside of the norm. Yeah. Some people like train watching. We like pageantry and just to say that that probably was my biggest fear my concern was about my family and about Misha and how people react to someone of my age competing yeah, and so true. again the support that I had from YouTube mama gripes was exactly the same in pageantry it was the most empowering experience and to be perfectly honest with you when I reached 50 I thought do you know my life is over now I'm just gonna sit she doesn't mean over room, not she literally, means literally like not like caring, about, caring myself. about myself and I used to sit in the fitting room whilst the girls my daughters were trying clothes on and I was just look I've had my life and now it's over to them and then it's changed and then I started to think about myself for the very very first time since late 30s because I was bringing up these little munchkins so for me 
it was the best and also the friendships girls you know who you are out there very I, true I, very true not I don't stop going on about the friends that I've yeah, had absolutely. I, also, I mean me and mum are ridiculously close anyway yeah. but I think pageantry ridiculously being the positive, positive rather than the I negative I think pageantry does bring us even closer, closer together. together Yeah. but I would say if if you ever did compete in a pageant and you had any trouble yeah. send them my way right. and we'll because... sub them for you <laughs> I'm punching yeah. again and but... look and look at the difference that Misha has made her platform last year as you know she's got limes so she her work has actually changed the laws in this country because we as pageant girls went all the way to House of Commons can you imagine can it was you literally imagine? like it was me and mum being in a what, <laughs> legally blonde <laughs> legally blonde where she's like at the law it. school and she's like wandering around on her heels that was me and mum we were like what's yep. going on question three Oh, so you kind of answered this one, but when did you start pageantry? Yeah, so the very first time I competed was actually um, the same pageant weekend as Misha competed. That was in Galaxy 2015. Yeah, and I competed in the Mrs. category, which was for ladies of uh, married age. So anything from 18 to, I was the oldest, mm -hmm. to 53. And guess what, girls? I came second. I... It was absolutely amazing. I I just remember sitting in the audience oh. and I cry and I'm nervous right yeah. when mum goes on stage. Like, I'm fine when I'm competing, but as soon as mum yeah. gets up The there, same. And it was the mm -hmm. first ever time and I just remember us getting ready for Galaxy and I think that's why Galaxy is so special to us because yeah. I had competed in it once before so i had yeah. galaxy experience yeah. but then when we both did it like, oh it was just a weekend of madness this, like oh my yeah. gosh it was so one incredible. of the best weekends of our lives so there you go oh, no regrets whatsoever again. you can't you go in the international crown i could could i not just redo galaxy <laughs> no like i'm lucky i get two directors yeah. i get holly in the uk and then i get maria in america yeah. who's my international director yeah. so yeah I'm a, I'm a queen with two queens yeah. two, two mother queens three mother queens exactly. including me i've got to keep everyone happy okay so we've got question number four for misha oh you're keeping count of how many yes <laughs> do you need to be a certain size to compete in pageantry. Okay, this is such a misconception. Mm -hmm. And genuinely, I think people assume that pageantry is a bit like the modeling, modeling. industry, yeah. where you have to be seven foot tall and- Five foot five and nothing, the same here. Yeah, exactly. Genuinely, your mm -hmm. height doesn't matter, your size Completely doesn't matter. Irrelevant. And I know that's easy to say, because people are like, oh yeah, yeah oh yeah, but trust really, Have me. a look at the Pageant Girl UK website and see some of the winners. The queens from over the years. Yes. All shapes, all, all sizes, ages, all nationalities. All races. All races. Literally everything. It's about the the person and Completely. not just the person and on the outside. I think a lot of people think there's like a stereotypical pageant girl no. which for me it's very hard to say that there's not because I think if someone would picture a pageant girl mm. they'd picture a little blonde girl like me yeah. but yeah. I am not your typical pageant girl. Like, no. there is no typical look. There's no typical Neither me. fit. Like, yeah. there's nothing. And, and something else that's really, really important. There have been so many girls that have said, oh, I'm not going to compete because I've never done it before. Girls, do it. There are so many women out there that won on the first, first go. First ever try. I mean, Misha is the only failure. It took her five times. But, you know, we can't all be perfect. It's a struggle. But I got there in the end. She did. And that's the thing. There's, there's she no wasn't ready. She yeah, was exactly. not ready for the galaxy And you crown. never know, because you could turn up on that day yeah. and it could be the perfect fit for you and everything Absolutely. could fall into place. And even if it doesn't, that doesn't mean you can't come back like, like yeah. I did. So yeah. that, again, like there's no restrictions on height, size, there's no restrictions on experience. Like yeah. if you're going to dip your foot in the water, like just do it. Yeah, just, just, just do it. And you know, again, going back to the Galaxy Season or Pageant Girl UK system, there are so many to choose from. So you may not be right for one, but you may be perfect for the other. So just pick up the phone and Holly yeah, and the just Pageant Girl team. Just basically ring Holly at the Pageant yeah, Girl team and they'll tell they you which will one is perfect guide for you. you. They will guide you by asking you questions to maybe what is the best system for you. Very true. Dress Studio which happens to be run by Holly as well. I forgot to mention the fact that there are 
pageant dress beauty. Yeah, and, but also they are not just pageant dresses. Prom dresses, wedding, wedding outfits. Wedding dresses probably yeah. even. Again, dress studio link will be down below. Yes. Check them I out. I will pop some pictures on the screen of us in dress studio dresses that we've worn over the years because yeah. they are mighty fabulous. I won in my last competition. I competed in I won best in evening, evening wear. wear. In and where was my dress, dress? from? And that was a beautiful Giovanni because it they was. carry Sherry Hill, Giovanni, Forever yep. Unique, Tarika D. Honestly, the shop and the fitting rooms oh is a girl's gosh. dream. They have oh, sparkly We're going to some pictures, aren't we, Misha? Yeah, they are. Ah, oh, honestly. Just, just have... go there for the day. Just just go, go, go. You might... Anyway, we got a little bit kind of diverted, yeah. haven't we? So let's go back to the questions. Back to the questions. We're going to start doing some short fire answers because yeah, we're getting we are. So, why do you do pageants, Kesha? Because Misha's forced me. <laughs> She and I loved joking. her ever since. She is joking. It truly empowered me. It made me focus selfishly. Focus yeah, but why on myself. Do you continue to, why do you why did you no, continue? No, let's just put it out there. My pageant career truly, I feel, has come to an end. I recently won an international pageant, so I am the world's perfect woman, classic woman that is, mm -hmm. and I feel that now that I've achieved the highest accolade that you can of winning internationally, my hat is going to your crown. She's my crown, yeah. My she's crown. She's putting is, the crown back down. I am. That's the thing. So, the what was the question? The, it was about why you do pageants. Why? They're just so much fun. They really are. The friendships, the fun, the fact that you actually work towards a goal. I'm very competitive. I used to swim when I was young. So this is like I'm a bit of a. Not sure where her shoulders yeah, went. Yeah, the gold. So it's a, it's a, it's a different competition, but it's actually. So, and it's so glamorous. And of course, Mama Grimes. I mean, you've seen me in my onesie in Marks and Spencer's shopping, but also I do enjoy. Do like yeah, Who I enjoy wouldn't want up. to have yeah. a weekend where I know people disregard pageants because it's people getting up on stage in pretty dresses yeah. and makeup, but we know that's not what it's all about. No. But who cares? Because yeah. who wouldn't want to? Dole themselves up a little bit, yeah. feel amazing, get on stage, and genuinely, the adrenaline that hits you when you step up yeah. on that stage it's is like none other. Like, yeah. you don't even know what you're doing, you yeah. just do it. Just do I feel it. like it's, I've yeah. never given birth, yeah. Yeah. but I feel like it's a bit like it would be giving <laughs> no, birth. Well, I was, you just know what to do. <laughs> and, and I'd say it's like getting married. It really is because you've got, it's even better, because you've got more dresses. You don't get any bridesmaids, but you get all of the girls that are competing together with you. You can pretend they're your bridesmaids. Yeah, yeah, and it is. And you know, there is no interference from the husband or future husband, should I say. <laughs> can I just mention, it is truly important, the preparation, but the work that we put in between Misha and I over the last five years, we have raised about £16,000 for different true. charities. So, girls, this truly is an opportunity for you to change lives, to, I'd to say. To change lives, truly. I, I, Not only your own life, yeah, but those around, other you. around you. And I'm so grateful that pageantry yeah. has encouraged me to like think outside of the yeah. box and actually help out where you, do, you, you just don't necessarily think. This is like, gives you an experience for job interviews oh, for um, you know planning your presentations you name it all the ingredients of pageantry is what is going to take you forward in your adult life. I, I truly do think believe pageants that. have made me so much better at YouTube yeah. because I refuse to believe if I didn't do pageants I wouldn't be able You'll have the confidence. to put videos out on the internet yeah. of myself like that's a crazy thought yeah. and if you think like if you're sat there thinking I want to do a pageant do it. do it. And if you're sat there thinking, I want to start a YouTube channel, mm. do, do it. it. Yeah. So, yeah. I'm just, like, living out my dreams right now. Like, genuinely, you are. You I'm are. living out my dreams. Yeah. And I couldn't pick a better job if I tried. Mm -hmm. Job of being a pageant girl, pageant queen even, mm -hmm. and job of being a YouTuber. Just, mm -hmm. just, just like, heaven. Heaven in a bottle. <laughs> bottle? Year? T crown? Sash? I don't sash. even know. Yeah. Let's just move on to another question. Mm -hmm. So, next we have... I thought this is supposed to be my question, but I'll give it to you anyway. <laughs> How do you prepare for interview? I think interview is something that people fear yeah, a lot. lot yeah. And how do you keep up with current events? Oh. I think that's easier for you yeah. because you are an older lady who's had job interviews. Older lady, did world. you hear her? Older lady. No, but it's okay. true. Okay, can I just put this up there? Oh, also, when Mum competed in Mrs. Galaxy UK, she won best in interview. So listen to her. Oh, and I won best in interview! I yes. still forget that! International. Uh, at Galaxy International, I won best in interview. Mm -hmm. So, and can I, I tell you why? Give quite good advice. Yeah, can I tell you why? Because we were like this. Yeah. We were crazy, we ourselves. Okay, they do not ask you 
about any political views. Yes. So if None. You, maybe if you were competing yeah. in Miss Universe, yeah. you'd need to know about who the Prime Minister is. Well, hopefully people know that much. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, genuinely, in Holly's pageants, yeah. in the pageant girl systems, they are not trying to trip you up. Like they no. are simple, easy questions. questions. Exactly like these have been. Yeah. So, so for example, one of the things that we do as pageant girls is we make what's called appearances, so that we have our sashes and we promote the systems that we're competing in. So they may ask you, what appearance have you done that's been your most favourite one? I mean, you know, how much easier can it get? It, it's it's a conversation. And um, I remember getting um, feedback from Holly about my interview at Galaxy and why I won. And she said, you touched us. You, you touched may just, us. No, not, not that she's not physically. <laughs> she didn't go around touching emotionally. I, I, I made them sad. I make them laugh that I was myself. One thing I want to say about fear of interview, mm. being the younger person, when I first oh, ever yeah. did a pageant, I had no fear of an interview because it was just like, I was 13, I had no fear of anything. Yeah. I didn't realise what I was getting myself into. And then yeah. as I grew up, I got more and more scared of it. And I only think now I've really kind of come out of it. For the first time when I did Galaxy International, yeah. it was the first time I was stepping into an interview where I wasn't nervous and Again, I can yeah. only say that it was right time, right place, yeah. and everything just fell into place. Fell into but what place. Misha did do, and I hope you don't mind me mentioning Although it. Although I've spoken about this in the past. Yeah. When I competed when I was 15, I wanted this the title so again. badly. This was back when I competed in Mr. Singh Galaxy England 2015, before I won in 2017. Yeah. I went into the interview and I wanted it so, so badly that I scripted what I had to say yeah. because... Yeah. You kind of know what's going to get yeah. asked, so so you can do that, but that's not a good thing. No, no. I regret so much doing that, but then actually, I don't regret it because I wasn't ready to win Miss Teen Galaxy England at that time, and I would never have then won the international pageant. Yeah. So, don't script Scripted. your answers, and no. don't give answers don't, don't that you prepare. think people want you to say, think, yeah, because absolutely. that's not genuine, mm -hmm. that's not real, yeah. and that's going to come across yeah. in the interview. They want to see the real you, that, that's the and most And if you important. go in there and it doesn't go to plan and you mess up, yeah. what matters? Like, it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. At doesn't the matter. end of the day, it's only a pageant, yeah. and I think it's weird to say that. People think I'm sounding negative, yeah. but at the end of the day, it means so much to us, yeah. but it is only a pageant, yeah. and there's yeah. always next year. Yeah, <laughs> always. And there are other systems out there as well, so never give up. Yeah. Never, ever, ever. So, this one is pretty quite an interesting subject. So, it's how do you afford dresses? Mm. Do you collaborate with people? How yeah. do you afford pageants as a whole? Yeah. yeah. Well, as with any hobby, um, there is an investment to make. I'm not going to deny yeah, that. Yeah, very true. But it is very much up to you how you fund yourself. So, or how expensive you are. Or how though. expensive it is. Because Misha's first dress, when she competed for the very first time, was from Topshop and um, it was, I don't know, 50 pounds dress, okay? And she still came third. Third. So it's not about the dress. It's Honestly, not. it isn't. It's about the girl that wears the dress. If you allow the dress to wear you, you will not win. If you wear the dress... It doesn't matter how much money you spend on a dress, it, it doesn't, doesn't mean you're going to win. We, we've seen people spend fortunes on dresses and not winning. So you can also look for sponsors, yes. which yes. is a really vital part of pageantry. Yeah. So yeah. in the pageant girl systems, these sponsors get a chance to advertise on the night, on the website they can advertise. Yeah. So there is something in it for everyone. Yeah. So just go out and ask. Like you yeah. never know what someone's going to say. Yeah, so, absolutely. So, yeah, there is a fee to pay. And again, contact Holly and there she is an will give you fee, but, yeah. all, all the details. All but um, it is the best investment that we've ever made. And it's worth it. It's worth every penny. Every penny. Completely. Okay, the final question, which I picked myself, because you know I'm cheating, Cheater. is the best pageant experience. Now, the best pageant experience for me, you may think, would be winning. No. Yeah. No, no, no. The best pageant experience for me is Miss Teen Great Britain when I was 13 years old. Oh, what is that kind My of? first ever pageant. 
And that's because it was the first oh. time that I met Holly and I met all the team yeah. and I didn't know what I was getting myself yeah. in for. And, and also we met a lady called Rachel who is now a big pageant trainer. And I remember <coughs> that after Misha competed, Rachel, thank you, she stopped me and she said, your daughter's got an incredible potential. Please come back and do and, it again. And that was, thank you for that, Rachel. That was when the pageant girl team picked me as the pageant potential award. Yeah. Who would have known? Holly! You knew all those years ago that you weren't getting rid of me and it it was honestly like the best weekend of my life because yeah. I had no expectations. I didn't know what was going to happen yeah. and I mean I came third which was incredible and I was yeah. so happy mm -hmm. But I didn't even need that to happen and for me to be yeah. happy. And she also made a friend with a girl who happened to live round the corner from us. I mean, it's ludicrous. You'd be surprised how many pageant yeah. girls you'll find that literally live down and, the and road. Do, and the connections that you make. So this young lady introduced Misha to acting. She ended up having an acting agent, done some commercials. The connections that you made and the doors that open for you are absolutely incredible. incredible. They truly are. So remember, girls, if you haven't done it before, it is not an issue. You. just just try it try it yes okay so my new year's resolution for you all is to do a pageant <laughs> and it's to do a pageant girl pageant yep. so yeah you know all the info is going to be down below just apply take the plunge yeah do it if it's something you've never done before who knows it might be perfect for you and yeah. if we never have done it i would have never been filming this video no, i would have never started youtube i wouldn't live the life that i live so so go for it, girls. Thank you, Holly, for all yeah. those years ago. And you know when you see all these wonderful videos of us going round the country and round the world to support our friends, that, again, it's is one of the... the it's all thanks to pageantry. So our lives... And who be... wouldn't want to win an all-expenses-paid trip to America if you do <laughs> Galaxy UK? Also, you then get to come with me to America. So, you know, you should oh, enter Galaxy that's UK. A good point. Okay, so you can come so to America with me. That's a really good point. So the next competition uh, takes place in March. The yes. dates are... The no. 24th. First or twenty second. Okay, uh, the, okay, I'll put all the details on the screen. Yeah. Because you'll get to see us there. We'll yeah. be there. I'll be handing over on the Saturday night. And, and if you're competing, then we can just all have a pageant family bit of yeah. fun. Yeah. And also, if you win, then you're coming with us to America. Yes. <laughs> I think that's worth competing yeah. in pageants just to do that. And remember, girls, this is age groups from. 11 to, to anything. anything. Anything so, you wish it to be. And honestly, girls out there, misses, the married ladies, the MSs, which is the ladies who are not married, who are over the age, age of, of 28. Just, just girls, honestly, it does not matter how old you are, what size you are. If that's what you want to do, go do for it. it. Do it, do it, do it. Okay, do we it. need to wrap up this video yeah. because people are probably... Going loopy. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, this has been really nice to sit down and talk it We're through. so passionate about it. And uh, I, yeah, hope I hope that it comes really, across. really comes across. Because without the pageant girl family, we wouldn't be where we are today. And Misha and I, honestly, we are close. But pageants have made us even closer. It definitely Definitely. We love you, Holly. Yeah. Thank you for everything. Thank you for everything. You started off this, so I blame you for <laughs> each and every thing that I do. <laughs> I don't quite know what I'm saying at this point. But I think we've been talking for so long that it's yeah. probably time that we wrap, wrap it up. up. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this video. And yeah. Okay, so we're going to shut up. We hope you enjoyed this video. Please give me a like and subscribe to my channel. Make sure to check out the description yep. box because I will literally list like my whole entire yeah. life down there. And, and also, this is something that we never asked. But on this occasion, if you think you've got a friend or someone that will be interested, please share the video, okay? Please tell them about and it. And comment down below to let me know if you enter, which yes, person you enter. Please. I want to see who's doing what. Yeah, and, and if you've got any questions about pageantry, don't hesitate to message me for the older ladies or Misha. Just comment down below. Just comment I can down check below. anything of Holly as well. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Bye, guys. Bye. Wear the invisible oh. crown. Shall I make a crown, little? Yeah. There's Mum's crown. <laughs> Bye.